my viewers for Waste Night TV, we are here with Mr. Lobo. And what does Mr. Lobo do? Mr. Lobo is a horror movie host. What kind of horror movie host do you host? What kind of horror movie host do I host? Is that a question, really? Or uh, Dr. Seuss? Yeah, it sounds like Dr. Seuss. Uh, <laughs> Try to yeah. say that three times. That's right. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue so, fish. As a horror movie host, yeah. which are your favorite type of movies to host? Mainstream, B movie, Japanese horror, overseas horror? Well, that, for me, that question is easy. I, I like the B movies, uh, sometimes the C movies, occasionally the D movies. I feel like I've got more to do. You know, if the movie's too good, then it's just sort of like, well, here's this movie, and I'm just sort of wasting your time. But if I could be like, you know, hamburger helper, you know, just kind of... Let people know that this bad movie is here, but it's entertaining. Yes, and, and, and maybe just give it a little more to where you kind of, you know, I'll give you an example. Like Mystery Science Theater, their whole presentation is, let's take the ugliest girl in the dance. Uh, my show is kind of like, you know, you put a good dress on her, and you put some lipstick on the old broad, and, you know, she's not so bad looking. Or you can take the other approach, just let people know it's out there, too. It's true. Because I mean, a lot of movies... Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt That's all right. But you're right. Movies will go into obscurity if they're not seen. It's the saddest thing in the world. It's like a toy that's not played with. It's like me and my friend keep having this argument, what makes anime? And I go, the reason anime is dying is that there's no great discussion for it anymore. There's no venues of discussion. Like the good B-movies. You know, you don't have people going, hey, have you seen Invasion of Ice as black and white? Not the thing they call Invasion of Ice as with, with uh, Nicole Kidman. Right, right. Well, it's true. I mean, you, you want to have an open discussion, and, and I think that's why conventions and things are important. You want to have that community going, and you want to make sure that, uh, you know, you have to build that community, and you have to turn your friends on to, to what's good. Or just turn them on to what's bad. Or turn them on to what's bad. Like American Ninja, my friend refuses to touch that. American Ninja, I don't think I've seen that one. Yes, it has. Like, even... Is that like Jim Cotta? Yeah. <laughs> it's back from the guys that gave us all of Chuck Norris's 80s film. Oh, wow. Parochial. Yeah, okay. And they gave us a mission in action. Oh. You know, when you go to a beast store, you couldn't help but throw a rock and hit a bad movie. Yeah, uh, you know, that's another thing we're losing in the video. Yeah. Uh, although I think it, may, like, it might make a comeback. Who knows? You know? But the thing with it is, like, when you see, like, on sci-fi, these potentially movies trying to be bad is so wrong. Yeah, I think if you're trying to make a movie bad on purpose and you succeed and it's bad, have you succeeded? Yeah. That's hard to say. That's hard to succeed in bad. you got to... Yeah, I think a lot of people use that as a dodge. Oh, we're making a trash film, or we're making a B-movie. I mean, the people who, like... Roger Corman, Ed Wood, those guys were idiots. They were really smart guys. They just had a very small amount of money and a very limited amount of time. And the choice was to make a movie in a week or not make a movie that week. And they and, and if someone put a gun to your head and said, hey, you need to make a two-hour movie or a feature-length film, and you've got eight thousand dollars, and uh, you know, and, and that's all you and that's all you've got. I mean, I don't know very many people who'd be able to do that, even if they were geniuses. Well, it's try making a project with no money nowadays, and people are saying, well, I, I don't know, I can't make a movie. All you need is a camera and, like, $10. Anyone can make a movie. I mean, my television show is made for $50. Our television show is made for free, so yeah. we, we can agree there on one so, thing. I mean, it's just basically, if you uh, got good content, if you've got something uh, to say, if you uh, have a means of, you know, you, there are two important aspects of it, being able to make it, and then having some distribution for it. I think a lot of things fall apart on the distribution side. Right? I think more of all like something... creative, in my opinion. It's a creative side. Mm -hmm. Because they're afraid to jump off the, off the diving board. They'll look down, and then they say, no, it's too hard. Well, it's a problem in a, up to a point. Because at a certain point, the people who actually do stuff and make stuff, oh, gee, why isn't everybody else doing this? It's like, well, because they, they don't have, they're, 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 they're too busy at the coffee shop talking about doing it. Yeah, and then they're talking about, well, I need my technical guys to do it. Yeah. I need this to do it. Well, should you do it as the director, producer, know how this works? I think you have to be able to, at least with anything, work with what you have. Yeah. If, you, if, if all you have is a camera, 
you still have the ability to make something. You might not be able to make, uh, you know, uh, Wolverine, but you you can make something. And you you can make Wolverine, but you can make a storyboard, functional storyboard with it. You can make a functional storyboard. You can make you can do a you can do a million things. You could at least make the pitch. You can make a pitch, but even if you just made something for the internet or made something for uh, uh, you know a totally new audience you still have the ability to create with a camera it's not you don't have to have a budget you and you don't need a bunch of technical size and an interviewee to do it no you don't you can sit there with a paper figure and go hi oh, i'm not so so you can move a bunch of lego guys around yeah you can do a million things it really is i mean it's it just i think a lot of times uh people are very um I, they are afraid to jump off the diving board and i think that it's one of those things where um uh, they can't be perfect, they don't even want to get started. Yeah, and they that, don't want to try because of and, imperfections. And, you know, a lot of times the imperfections are what make things interesting. And, uh, you know, uh, the other part of it is I think that there's a certain amount of things you have to accept. If you go and you make a movie and you've got no money, then you have to be honest about it. You have to, you have to put it out there. I've got no money, I've got a couple of ideas, and this is what I've got. And I think a lot of people are afraid to lay themselves that bare and, 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 and put themselves out there and, and, and possibly uh, get some kind of criticism. Well, thank you. Thank you very much.